cocktails with Tiana J's. I'm Turquoise, my mother Janice, my sister Jenny, and today we have a lot of topics to discuss with you all. First and foremost, the officer Christopher who killed Patrick La Jolla has been, well he wasn't sentenced but he's been convicted of murder. Um, An Arizona man drowns in a lake as police watch and refuse to help. Joy Behar makes some very insensitive but true statements on The View. D.L. Monique can get into it over a Detroit comedy show. And then the breakup between Lori Harvey and um, Michael B. Jordan. So let's get right on into it. So I want to discuss the man who drowned in the Arizona lake. And police literally watched the man. And they even said, I think some, one of the officers even said in a video, like, I'm not going to jump in after him. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and play that video. What are you doing, my friend? Huh? What are you doing? I gotta go for a swim. Right? I'm free to go, right? You can't swim in the lake, man. I'm free to go, right? You're not allowed to swim in the lake. gentleman's name is Sean Vickings and I believe he was a homeless Arizona man and he was trying to commit suicide which he was successful in doing but it really really bothered me um, that they just watched him and then tried to intervene and even a week prior to this incident they rescued a dog from the lake from drowning um, what do you have to say about this um, Nikki? that says a lot right there the fact that in the same lake, there was a dog drowning, and the police officers rushed in to save the dog, but a whole human being is drowning, and you're just, I'm not going to jump in to save you. Like, how can you be so heartless? Like, no that makes no sense to me, and then you're supposed to protect and serve? That's, that's just wild to me, and I can't help but think of, you know racism having a play into it, mm -hmm. because why would you just stand there and watch somebody do that? As an officer, as an officer, I can understand like strangers being heartless, but you're an officer. That's wild to me. And he was only 34 years old. And I think about situations to where, you know, a big thing could be people trying to jump off the buildings to yeah. commit suicide, and they will always intervene with that. Talk them Why down. Why wouldn't you do the same thing for this gentleman? Instead of egging him on and telling him yeah. what you're not going to do. Yeah. Mom, what do you have to say? Just shaking my head. Mm. It's terrible. All right, so I guess we're moving along. So, um, Joy Behar made a statement on The View this week, and a lot of people were in the uproar about it, but I actually agree with her. Me too. Let's go ahead and take a look at that video. Most AR-15 owners are former military, 35-plus okay. Let me say one more thing. So that's all I'm saying okay. is that they're yeah. not once, crazy once, people. Okay. Here's the thing. Once black people get guns in this country, the gun laws will change. Trust me. <laughs> that's what happened. And I agree with her statement. Like, even the, the lady that was there on the show, you could see that she was kind of taken aback by what Joy had said. But Sonny said, do your history, or do your uh, research your yep. history. It happened when the Black Panthers, yep. you know, uh, start coming out with their guns so i don't think her comment was ignorant i think she was saying that they would take more action if it was black people had something to do with it just like if there were more if we were doing more shootings i think a lot of would change with the gun reform law absolutely and she's absolutely right in the you know do your research because it's absolutely true when the black panthers you know went to the Capitol mm -hmm. with their guns, which they had the legal right to do, then they formed the Mulford Act, which was made in 1967, which, and I can read it for you, it prohibited public carrying of, of loaded firearms without a permit named after a Republican. So basically, gun reform. Mm -hmm. That's all we're asking for. If you can understand, you know, gun reform back then when it came to, you know, what you feared was black militants versus, you, it's weird that they don't feel white 
militants, but you fear black militants, you will create reforms to prevent them from being able to easily access guns or just come anywhere with a loaded gun. Why can't we do that now? Mm-hmm. Why I can't agree. we do that? Because only white people carry a gun. Well, that's what, well, that's what Joy was saying, and that's, that's why she's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's history to but prove it. Look up the more for that. I've been saying that we should bear arms. And it was um, irritating to me to see a lot of black people post on Trying to call media, her out and make it seem gun, like she was bad. Guns. And I'm like, you guys, quit being so sensitive and literally think about what she's saying. Yeah. I hate, and I said this on the, the last show, the whole Walmart thing. We are, Black people are quick to react without even really thinking. And I don't think her statement was ignorant. I think she was absolutely right. I, I totally agree with Joy Behart. It's proven in history. Mm-hmm. It's true. Unfortunately, a lot of things are seen as negative, especially if we're the ones doing, doing it, it. Yeah, that's or it. having it. So that's just kind of all she was saying. Because if you think about it, like they, we talk about gun violence in black neighborhoods a lot, but Nobody you've never cares. ever heard of a, a, a like majority black school having a mass mm-hmm. shooting. And it used to be police didn't want to do anything because we were doing them a favor by taking each other out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. So I think it's still. And, that and they way. used to have mm-hmm. gun detectors and stuff in black community schools. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. That maybe they should just have. Well, they should have it in schools now. All yes. Absolutely. Yes. And at least a guard to stand, mm-hmm. like we talked last show. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Oh, and speaking of mass shootings, like the shooting that happened, I think it was, oh, God, the guy had shot his doctor. Oh, Killed yeah. His doctor. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And he and had another doctor. Terrible surgery. Uh, or he had a surgery where he was still in pain after and He took it out on not only the doctor, but the people at the so hospital. And he wasn't here. Was he was a black man, wasn't mm-hmm. he? That's his doctor was black, too. You want to kill a few doctors for no, your pain? No, no. Ah, she's like, you know what? I, <laughs> I don't want to kill any doctors for my pain, but I will say this. They don't give me nothing to relieve it. Mm-hmm. When they're, if they're, a white, they're very selective when if a about white black person people said pain they had the yeah. same thing, they would give them some pain pills. Yeah. That's why all their kids OD and shit like that because it's just wrong. I would like for you to have some medicine for your pain, but I'm glad they ain't giving you that shit that got them addicted and got them No, but I don't think I would get addicted because if it relieved my pain for a little bit, that's good enough for me. I don't need, I've been going through it for so long. I don't need it relieved all day, so I wouldn't take pills all day. But a little bit of relief would be better than no relief at all of course it's, it's just sad that that's what the way it is in the medical world is mm-hmm. why why are you concerned about black people getting high when you're not concerned about white people getting high and it, you know it's not the thing of us give us a low dosage you get them high give us something to relieve the pain i every black person that i know that have a disability with pain suffers mm-hmm. for years they and years get, and years yeah. they don't get proper treatment or proper medication. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I agree with that. We've seen it firsthand just from family and stuff. So, yeah, that's just terrible. Yeah. Well, y'all better start listening to your patients. I wouldn't do anything like that, but go on with the story. Oh, that was it. He, he killed another doctor. He you know, like four an, people? Mm-hmm. Just a, another patient that was there, oh. and I believe a, um, a nurse. Mm. But he he went to the doctor though. He he kept going to the doctor after he had a surgery. Did he, live? he got did he really no, he, no he, I think he killed himself. He probably went ahead you know and what? killed himself. See, this is an ooh, if this you're is crazy. Kill yourself, just take, just take yourself but, out. Though. You know, I feel I shouldn't say this. But I feel a little bit different because you're going to pay for the to see you like they can't help you. Oh my God! You know what? I don't feel you should kill anybody. No. But some people may feel you just let me suffer. I'm just not gonna die by myself. I'm already gonna kill myself. <laughs> but I'm ki- taking you down so don't you don't treat your other patients 
your other black patients. I'm sorry. Uh, but, like that. But you know what? That's so funny. That I'm sorry. Because I w- watched a long time ago. I can't even remember the name of the documentary. I'll have to look it up. But it was there was this uh, law that they were trying to pass, which is uh, – where people would, should be allowed, like if they're suffering from cancer, or these deadly diseases, to just go ahead and com- commit suicide. There's a lot of shows. I don't like believe yeah, in uh, that. I've seen a documentary but... about it, and like there were people that were fighting against the right to do that. But I, I think feel they like should people should have the right. The if they're in so much pain. Why are you forcing these people to suffer? If they feel like they want to go, let them go at the most respectful, peaceful way. Like in this documentary, they show people that did it, and they were surrounded by family, and they were just, you know, singing to them and, you know, holding well, them and stuff. Well, people ain't got to never worry to about me killing myself over no No, pain. I'm not saying you. I'm just saying people that instead of getting going crazy and killing other people because you're mm. just so frustrated, it would be so better pain, if they let them. It would choose. be better if they let them choose so that they can do it in the most peaceful and humane way. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. I get that. I agree with that. All right, moving along. So, uh, Monique did a show, oh a comedy Lord. show. Oh, God, where was it? Was it um, Detroit? Detroit, yes. I had just said it earlier. And she was upset because she was not the headliner. The headliner. That's what she kept saying <laughs> in the video. She I mean, be the headliner was DL. Um, Hugely. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna uh, we're gonna play a few of the clips from her comedy show. A bitch is going back to the Fox Theater in motherfucking Detroit. When I tell you Detroit, y'all don't understand what the fuck I had to go through to stand in front of you beautiful motherfuckers tonight. Y'all don't understand the fight a bitch had to go through to stand in front of y'all tonight. Y'all don't understand I was ready to walk the fuck up out of here, but I said I can't let the people down of motherfucking Detroit because the promoters as raggedy as a motherfucker. I don't fuck with nobody. I take pride in not fucking with nobody, nigga. But if you fuck with me, we gon' dance, nigga. We gon' do the two-step, nigga. Mm. See, I take pride, baby. In my whole motherfucking career, can't nobody tell you I ever started no shit with them. That ain't what the fuck I do. My heart would hurt if I tried to bully a motherfucker or start some shit with a motherfucker. But what niggas had to understand about Fucking body, but when you cross the line with me, nigga, you have crossed the motherfucking line, and that bitch, nigga, has crossed the motherfucking line. See, we got a history, nigga. We got a history. That nigga went on a tour talking about all Monique wasn't. You can Google it right now. Did you hear me on Monique? All I wasn't, what I wasn't worth, all of this bullshit, and nigga, you put your feet under my motherfucking table. So you came to my home, nigga, and you put your feet under my motherfucking table. I don't get down like that, goddammit. You got a bitch wrong. You talk about young thug, and cause of they names, nigga, your name is DL. What the fuck does it stand for? Hey, how far are you bending over, nigga, on the DL? You fuck with the wrong one? Liner. Let me say it again, the head liner. That's what the motherfucking contract says. Monique is to be the last motherfucking person on the goddamn stage. She is the headliner. That's what I signed the fuck up for. I'm 30 plus years in this motherfucking business and I don't open for no goddamn body. The contract said the headliner. The contract said the headliner. The contract said the headliner. But a nigga named D.O. Hughley turned into a bitch and said I won't perform if she does that. I won't go out if she does that. Nigga, you open for the kings of comedy. I go for the queens of comedy, nigga. And you think that I don't have a dick, that ain't my position, nigga. So when I leave this motherfucker, the headliner has left. The headliner. I'm going to have nightmares about that. Yeah, the headliner. Um, okay, number one. I guess I'm not an entertainer. I'm not a comedian, so I don't do stand-up. But as long as you're performing, I don't understand what the issue is. You're still making the same amount of money, probably. 
like she didn't just, make as much as him. But I'm sure she made whatever her contract said she was yeah. going to make, mm-hmm. yeah. and then you still performed. Why act a fool? People like people were entertained by the video, um, of course, but they came to see you tell jokes. Joke. I think it was wrong for her to go off like that. It makes you look bad, especially how you claim that you've been blackballed. And then, you know, you get 50 cents to bring you back and, uh, you know, reach out to Tyler Perry and Oprah for you and try to get everybody back in your good graces. And then you go and do this. I just think it was classless. I think she did have an issue. She could have worked it out with DL and and the um, promoters, you know, backstage or something. But if you're still performing, what's the issue? I can see if they canceled her performance, that's something different. But why waste folks time that came to support you and see you tell jokes just to see you go off i just wanted to say two reasons she lied because she said if she ever started any mess her heart would hurt she would start mess right there Mm -hmm. and then the other one was she is not she refused to go on before him but she was standing on the stage going before him going before him Acting a dang fool. I'm, I liked it, Monique, until now. Well, she's been very controversial she, lately. Well, I, was I rooting liked for Monique. it until now. I, well, well, rooting for well I was rooting like for Monique, Monique. Like, I felt a little iffy about her, about the whole bonnet situation. I thought that was ridiculous. Yeah, that's kind of what made but me But then, like, uh, yeah. for her to go on and do this, and I'm like, you talking about these women out here with just having bonnets on their head being classless, and you're, like, attacking the another comedian on stage about something that was really a promoter issue. That's mm-hmm. not, D.O. doesn't control what the promoters put in the lineup. Mm-hmm. He has no control over that. But I will say, it wouldn't make sense for her to go on after him when he's been touring nonstop, when she's been, quote-unquote, black blackballed and not really selling out venues and he's been selling out venues and touring ever since she's been blackballed and he has so what he, and he has his radio show D.L. Hughley has been in the spotlight for a while whether you like him or not you can not like him or not but he's been in the spotlight for some time while she was out saying like she said in her stamp she was out for or no she said online because there's more to the story we're going to get deeper into this but she had basically been out of the spotlight for like 13 years and, you know, like, Precious was her real, real last big thing, which got her her Oscar. But DL made a response video to what she said on stage because he had to get up and go on after her, after she went into this rant. She's, yeah. yeah. So let's play the video of what DL said in response. Line. All right, that was Khalid talk. I worked very hard to control the environment I worked in comedically. I only work where I want to work and who I want to work for. I want to work with. I don't work because that is a very precious place to me. I've been offered uh, a gig, uh, a couple of gigs, uh, three or four gigs, uh, uh, to work with Monique in L.A., in Brooklyn, in uh, Houston. And I turned them down because I just I I didn't think it would work. Um, So uh, after talking to a lot of people uh, and uh, one of the very people in this room about how things are different, uh, two of the very people in this room, as a matter of fact, and how things are different and look at, you know, how things are coming around, I decided it would be wrong for me not to give somebody a chance based on things that they'd never done to me. That would have been wrong to me. And, and when she talks, she goes on her diatribe and she talks about me having my feet under her table. That was at her invitation. Uh, I, I was doing a gig in Greenbelt, Maryland. She lived in Baltimore. She was having a fight party. It was... Uh, I think Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson. And sure enough, I came to her table at her invitation. And it was a wonderful time. As a matter of fact, it was based on that interaction, along with talking to people, I decided that I would do these gigs. I decided I would do it. And now I know what Tyler Perry knows. I know what Lee Daniels knows. I know what Oprah knows. I know what Steve Harvey knows. I know what Charlamagne the God knows. I know what Necklet knows. Saying yes to Monique is an occupational hazard. Now, we go to, uh, we're playing a gig in uh, Detroit this weekend. Um, I, 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 I know I'm going on at 9.45. I leave the hotel. I get there around 9. Monique had just gotten there. She was supposed to be there, uh, there at 8.40. She had just gotten there, gone at 8.40. She got there at 8.38. What Monique was trying to do was to slow off the show. She didn't get, end up getting on for 30 minutes. The oldest trick in the world is 
if I want to change the order and I don't have merit, I'll try to make people wait so long that everybody gets nervous and go, please, just, just go on so we, we can avoid a conflict. That didn't happen. Monique got on stage. Monique actually felt like she had merit. She would have done one of three things. Either she would have took it up with the promoter, and she did, and the promoter said, we're going on, and whether you're going or not, that's a different thing. You would have not done it, but she knew she had to get on stage, or she would have been in breach of contract, or she would have come to talk to me. She didn't ever, and I, and I, I emphatically emphasize this, she never once talked to me. I, I haven't seen Monique in years. I didn't see her at the venue before, after, or during. I haven't spoken or seen Monique. So if you really thought that you had a, a legitimate contract dispute, you would have come to me and said, hey, I have this contract and you had this contract. Notice not one thing on that contract, not one person she has on that contract, not one thing happened. Do you know why? Because it wasn't legitimate. And she goes on stage and she proceeds to eviscerate me. Not just me, but Steve Harvey, uh, the, the sexual, uh, my wife, my dog later on in subsequent conversation. Let me ask you something. What did any of that have to do with an alleged contract dispute? What does Steve Harvey have to do with your contract? What did I have to do with your contract? What did my dog have to do with your contract? What does my wife have to do with your contract? You wrote your contract, you and your daddy. You, 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 you proceeded to say things that were so patently insulting that, that it, it, it was galling. It was galling. You, 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 you asked in subsequent conversations why I have a dog, a support dog. What kind of person has a support dog? I have that dog because my father died my children and family decided they would get a dog from where he was from, and I named the dog after my father. I don't have a dog to keep people away from me. I have a dog, so I have my father with me all the time. That is an act of love which you know very little about. You proceeded to assault my sexuality. You have the temerity to assault someone's sexuality, a man's sexuality, given who you lay next to. None of that had anything to do with alleged contact track dispute. You could have taken that up with a lawyer. You would have gotten out, you could have not gotten gone on stage, but you knew you didn't have a valid contract. And you do what you always have done. You tried to weaponize black femininity. You tried to turn that audience against me. You tried to burn everything down. Like you do all the time. Who calls Netflix and thinks I can get $10 million because I did the Queens of Comedy? Who thinks you can get on stage and still live off that? I was a king of comedy. You never hear me talking about it because in this business, like any other, it isn't what you have done, it's what you do. That, that show was one I signed on to do. I made the quintessential mistake, the horrible mistake that like Tyler Perry, like Lee Daniels, like Oprah, like all these people of saying yes to you. And it is an occupational hazard. It is my fault. I have learned my lesson. You didn't just, and the thing that bothers me the most, isn't the things that you said, because I know who I am and I know what I do. And I have a pristine reputation. And everybody who knows me know what, I, what, what I'm about. It's this whole, my dear, my babies, I love you for real, which is so transparently false, it is ridiculous. But the thing that, that was really the most annoying, the thing that was really the most bothersome, is after a, a, a terrible couple of weeks where people were being slain in Buffalo, where people were being slain, kids were getting slain in school, and people had come to a comedy show to get away from all of their problems, you besieged them with yours. The one contract that isn't in dispute is the one that the audience had with us to entertain them. But every single time, more and more, you spend half of your time talking about your grievances and what you didn't get and who did this to you. Listen, when you burn things up and you sit back to watch the results of them, she's literally set that stage on fire, said the most incendiary things ever, and I had to go on stage. She has a temerity to call me a coward. A coward would have left. A coward would have said, I can't go. You didn't even want to go on when you had a, a contract that you knew that not to be true. You made up this whole narrative that you knew not to be true, and you played that out in front of the audience. And then I had to go on behind you. And you know what you did? You sat back and you tried to watch your damage. You set the stage on fire and you watched what you've done. You know who does that? Arsonists do that. Arsonists set shit on fire and try to see the damage it drops. But I, I blame myself because I know now what I didn't before. Saying yes to you is an occupational hazard, one I will not repeat. I don't blame you. I wish you well. But when you do the things you do, when everything's about you, when you're vitriolic, when you have all these fights with all of these entities, it is you. Precious was not a movie. Precious was an autobiography. That is who you are, literally. You, you mad at the contract you and daddy wrote? Your daddy? And I don't know why you call a man daddy and you pay for him. That's a son. 
Let's be clear. I am not angry with you. I'm angry with me. I did what I knew not to be true. But I'm going to tell you something. When you burn and you destroy and you wreck, you are not a queen of comedy. You're a queen of ashes. Now, while you, I'm going to go back to work and you get back to your kingdom of smoke. That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show. I love his response. Me too. He spoke very intelligently. He didn't have to use very... Vulgar. Yes. He said it in a very professional and appropriate way. So what do you think about I'm glad it was him that responded to her because she, she made me so upset. If I was to see Monique... I would say slap her. <laughs> I would slap her and then tell her why I slapped her. And I would do it with a bonnet on. Yeah, <laughs> with a bonnet on. She disrespectful, and then she want people yeah. to follow and respect her. You don't respect yourself. Right, right. And he did. He did that with such grace, grace and dignity. Yeah. DL, I really respect no DL. power to you. But it gets worse from here. Yeah, it does. So after uh, he did this response, so she goes on to go on live with her husband. And they, she's like, you know, like the real reason, because the contract dispute was already debunked because the promoters are like, you know, it happened the way it was supposed to happen in the show. Uh, so basically debunking her whole theory and the fact that her contract was under her company, not the actual promoter's com company. So um, when that didn't work, then she goes on to say that, no, it's because you allowed your daughter to be sexually assaulted and you didn't protect her and uh, you ch uh, chose your friend over believing your daughter. And then she, he al she also said that I mentioned that to talk about his character and the character man that D.L. Hughley is. And I'm like, wait a second, this is going beyond this whole contract thing. Why are you involving this man's daughter? Mm -hmm. Like, it, 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 I'm like, now this is unnecessary. And this is a woman that was sexually assaulted herself when she was a child. So for you to bring up this poor girl's tragedy and then he was D.L. responds to that as well. But the video she posted was literally him saying how he felt bad and that he failed as a father for not like listening to his daughter sooner. And then another thing, it was not a grown man, it was not DL's friend, it was her friend. Another, she was 13 at the time and so was the boy. He, he, the boy did something to her and he was like, oh, that's kids being kids. And then he realized when she confronted him about it, how wrong it was of him as a father to do that. So for her to take that and then use that as a means to justify attacking him the way she that, did on evil. that comment, that yeah. was very evil she's for her evil to do. Person. To use that girl's sexual assault. And his daughter, I want to read what his daughter, now this is the oldest sister. She's not the one who was assaulted. She's her older sister. She spoke, made a response to Monique because she just couldn't take it anymore. Like Monique is just going at their family for no reason. She says, and she addresses it directly to Monique. She says, hi, at The Real uh, Mo Worldwide. I'm Ryan Nicole Shepard, D.L. Hughley and LaDonna Hughley's eldest daughter. You've now publicly disrespected my mother, who I love and care for very much, and my baby sister, who I love and care for very much, to get back at my father, who I love and respect and care for very much. At this point, I feel like you are asking my family to step out of character. Out of all of the things you could legitimately say about my father, it's that if, if that's the route you wanted to take, you chose to deliberately be mean and hurtful to two black women who have nothing to do with this conversation. Using my mom and my sister to show people my father's character only shows how little mental stability, dignity, morality, and respect you have not only for yourself, but other black women. You're clearly too crowned short of a full box, sis. You're mm -hmm. disgusting and absolutely need to keep every single member of my family's name out of your poisonous mouth. Not because you can do us harm, you can't, but because you are adding to the historical and systemic disrespect and trauma of other black women who you claim to love and for what a check you're bringing up trauma for a concept liner discrepancy 
You've done, all you've done is proven that you have no moral compass. Nothing is too far on your quest to prove a point. And I'm blessed that my parents raised children who have no idea how you could possibly go there. We Hugleys are going to have a good ass day and a blessed life. We are healed. We are whole. We love each other fiercely and deeply. You can continue to live in your scorched earth kingdom of yours. Get some help, ma'am, for real. And if you want to have this conversation in person, I'll happily give you my address. So she's saying she's for that smoke. Monique responds saying, let me come to DL's radio show. Why? Girl. She don't need to be on his <laughs> show talking Girl. stuff about him and his family, family on trying his show. to get yeah. a headline yeah. knowing that people, Monique, sit your ass down before I look for you. <laughs> she I'm, wrong as I'm crippled, Monique, but I'll get up. <laughs> no, and she's hit wrong. You. She's wrong as yeah, fuck. Yeah, she's wrong. She's wrong. Turkey, please. I just had to give his daughter a response. DL responded to, you know, even well, after we that. Ain't gonna but give we're not going to get to that. No. Like, we don't have response, all of that. I just yeah. wanted to give an update I on think how far we have come on the story. said, because that was smart of her. I couldn't talk like that, but she really did good. She re read her for Phil. Read, and Monique read took her. it as, yeah, I accept your invite. No, that's not what she was saying. She, she was saying she ass. will pull up on her and she's going to beat your ass. She was inviting you to an ass whoop, but not a, not conversation. a conversation. She was not inviting then, you to a conversation. So you acted a fool to try to get on that man show. All you had to do was go on like you were supposed to before him and then have a nice conversation with the man, he probably would have brought you on the show to help you. But now, you done messed up with the people that did like you, and you done messed up with him and his family. And for no reason, they for have no nothing reason. to do with that. It can't go from being a contract dispute to, to oh no, DL actually Ma said bad Monique things about me to, be to really being about his daughter. Though, that was very that evil for her to do that. People that bring up stuff from the past, and you already trying to get over it. That's an evil person. And you know what's really fucked up about I bring that? up stuff from the past because I want y'all to know how bad people did me and why I act so nasty at times. Well, you know what's fucked up about that? She did exactly to D.O. Hugley's daughter what she was mad at Oprah about. Because mm. she was mad at Oprah because Oprah brought her family on her show, including her brother, who had did something to her, who she oh. was estranged from. And she said how wrong Oprah was for that. So oh. here you are doing the same thing to D.L. Hugley's daughter, even though you don't even understand the circumstances. This wasn't a grown-ass man. This was a friend of hers. Mm -hmm. Just like your situation so was a family. So that's why her and Oprah got it. Yeah, she was mad oh. at Oprah. Oh, for wow. free because she was estranged from her family. She felt like Oprah uh, ambushed her. Mm -mm. She felt like Oprah ambushed her for uh, did she popularity. Think she did? Just now, exact. She did the same exact thing she was complaining about. She did the same exact thing she was complaining about. And for you to not understand what you're doing, but you want people to feel sorry for you for what supposedly happened to you, you're the problem, she, honey. She the problem. You're the problem. You're the common denominator in all of these situations. And soon enough, 50 Cent's going to find out, too. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait for her to get into 50 Cent just so I can be like, yep, everybody was right. Mm -hmm. Everybody was right. As soon as people, like DL even said in the video we just shared, Dio even said, she did nothing to me. Why would I not give her a chance? Mm -hmm. She's done nothing to me. And then this moment they go on show, she's just talking she mad shit about him. Fool. Acting you know, mad fool. shit about Sometimes him. 50 go off on people for no reason. No reason. Exactly. Like, <laughs> well, that, that, she that would be give match. him a reason. That would be Mo's match. 50 would be Monique's match. going off on people for no reason. Well, 50 ain't got nobody. They don't be arguing with 50. That's why That's because they know he won't clash. Stop. That's, yeah, Monique like Monique got met her match with 50. Monique she ain't gonna be able clash. to do that with 50. I don't think Monique is happy. She no, she's not. Think she's very bitter. She's not. I think, I think she... She's talking about healing the community. No, heal yourself first. Mm -hmm. That's what killed me. But she's about not doing people. any work to heal the community. Yeah, she's she's hurting the community. What is she doing to help? That's hurting the Tell community. Us to all our body. She, but not just that, but you typing some bullshit and putting and then put our love. That's what narcissists do. Real. What are they? What are they called? Those are abusers too. Where they like, I'm only doing this because I love you and I want the best for you. While they slapping you in your face, mm -hmm. like what? She don't do anything for the community at all. At all. And the, and then the I love us for real is just her fucking self she's a sociopath she's, she's a sociopath she's saying that to get y'all to 
feel sorry. I don't feel and, sorry. And then for please, because you know what really she makes did, me mad that was really ridiculous. What really makes me mad is how she uses this as the plight for black women. I hate that because there really is a plight that black women do need to support each other. We do need to be there for but each other. But not for no bullshit. But not like for no this. bullshit. Like when black women are wrong, we need to be able to say they're wrong. And mm-hmm. Monique is wrong in this case. Just because she's a black woman, I'm not going to support her. Mm-hmm. When she's wrong, she's wrong. She attacked an innocent black woman mm-hmm. for no reason. Mm-hmm. Like her, she had nothing to do and with what her was dad really, uh, But D.L. Hughley, he was innocent. He didn't have nothing to do with the He didn't have nothing to do with her show. contract. He dispute. knew he was coming on at 9, like he said, Well, then she said after that, because she kept making, it, it was if it wasn't one thing, it was another. When but things you know got what? disputed, because after the contract, That's was what like, liars do. Yeah, they, it's, Every it's just, time they you catch stop. them in a lie, they switch to something else. They, they just cannot stop it. She still refuses to admit that she's but wrong. But you know what? She's going to lose a lot of... Well, she's she complained about being black of her fans she's, because yeah, she I just was a lost fan. me. I was a I fan. Was. Until you did that to that man's daughter because that was so I was so beginning not to like you when you didn't and want you us did to it. wear the bonnet. And then but you did then it under false pretenses. The, yeah, yeah. And then went to talk about that man's family. Mm-mm. And I was I already uncomfortable stuff. with the way he talk, she talked about his wife, but then you brought his daughter into it knowing what you've been through. You gonna do that to another woman? Mm-hmm. And D.L. even said, like, cause D.L. made a response video, which we're not gonna play or anything, but he said how after she did that and it became trending, that the daughter called him crying, saying how like this really hurts her that people are talking about this. Oh. And he, in the video he posted, was actually him being remorseful for not being there for him, mm-hmm. for her. Mm-hmm. And she used that as a weapon. Mm-hmm. That, like, I feel like the, the gall, the disrespect, and imagine for the, the daughter to be able to see him, like, yeah, I was wrong for not protecting you. That probably made her feel good, but for you to use it as a weapon to call him out, that's got to be painful for her. Mm-hmm. And I, I will never respect Monique again after that. That was just too much. Too much. And if we was going to maybe invite you to ah! have a conversation, you done fucked up. No, no I'm I ain't trying joking. to invite nobody. I'm joking. Joking. I don't want to pay the fine. Ooh, she said, we ain't trying to pay the fine, mama. Hey, I wouldn't invite her anyway. I was just Yeah, saying. she's joking. <laughs> I yeah, know. I was just All right, that. so moving along. So Lori Harvey and Michael B. Ooh. Jordan broke up. I don't understand why everyone is so invested in other people's relationships. Yes. It's weird to me, it celebrity is. or not. Like, okay, oh, well, they broke up. Okay. <laughs> like, what's the big deal? That's how I feel about it. Do you know who Michael B. Jordan is? I do. Okay. And Lori Harvey. Yeah, but I don't really know anything. Because what I said, Nisi said, uh-uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, no, we had a conversation a few days ago in the car. (laughs) uh, She was saying how, and this is what makes me mad, because, like, Lori Harvey, she's like, she's seen with everybody, you know? No, I said she seemed like she a hoe. That's what she said. She seemed like she a hoe. I said, wait a minute. How do you know she slept with everybody? I said, well, she is. She taking pictures with everybody. So you take a picture with somebody that means you slept with them? They said they did. Dating her, dating well, her to me nowadays is I'm having sex with her. She my okay, girlfriend. Okay, okay. Well, let's okay. Let's just say what she's saying is right. Let's say Lori Harvey has been with all of these people and blah 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 blah. She's not a mother. She hasn't had no babies. She's young. She's only 25 years old. She's live. She's doing exactly what we encourage women to do. Don't get tied she's down. She's wild. No, 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 no. I mean, as far as like, don't have no babies until you're ready and find the right person, right? How do you know? How can you find the right person unless you don't meet and mingle and deal with other people? How's she supposed to find the right person? Well, I was just but, saying. But but people she don't know if she slept with I'm anybody just saying, or not. I don't. But I'm just saying she. If she really wanted to find somebody nice, she would date not always celebrities. That's all I'm well, saying. Well, that's her environment. Really, you people, you people date, it's date really, in your environment. She's not the celebrity. It's her dad. <laughs> but because she has a celebrity dad, well, she ends dad. up in circles. And it's, oh. Yeah, that's not not really end up in circles. Well, yeah, they do, I'm just though. saying. They, they, I'm just that's, saying, she can go to a... Ter- she's, okay, no forget different, it. she's no forget different it. from Paris forget Hilton. It. Forget it, because I, I Paris think Hilton was famous from the Hilton mogul. I thought she was a hoe. Well, okay, okay, but that's besides the point. You can think I she's a hoe. I don't think the, the, this girl is one, but I just said she... They, 
She a dates lot. around until she finds that person. She's only 25 years old. Michael B. Jordan is 10 years older than okay. her. He's 35. Okay, you, she, you keep saying she's only 25. Yes. But I've seen her with at least 10 different <laughs> You see people. her take pictures. I, I, you they said they that. were. What did I tell you dating? I who thought said? dating me. Who, who? Name I her. can't name them, Nisi. But... I bet you could, but just one. I can name I can name who she's dated before. She was engaged to this baseball player. Didn't work out. That was like in 2018. She dated Future for a little bit. That didn't work out. She People saw her on a date with Diddy, even though she didn't technically date him, but she went to prom with his son. She was not dating his son. He wanted her to go to prom with her. They're not, go she's to older that next than him. Hand. But anyways, go to that next so hand. we know she dated Michael B. Jordan. That's it. That's Why all I know. date a father and son? She didn't date she, him. She was he she act, like about. she her being you know a, a famous like Instagram mm-hmm. model. He wanted to have the Instagram model on his arm, so she went with him. It was an arrangement, not a date. If that makes sense, you know how celebrities will go to proms with you know people mm-hmm. to try to look like they're cool. That's what she did with his son, and, and, and that would be cool for his for dad. Her. But well, because she wasn't technically okay, dating. Okay, but the but dad, anyways, the anyways, dad's stoop low to even. Anyway, go so with the Michael B. Jordan, Lori Harvey situation, I feel like it's so funny that people are so angry at this girl because they haven't, even though we don't even know, none of this has been confirmed. People have it in their head that Michael B. Jordan like proposed to her and she turned it down. And so people are attacking this girl, telling myself she's gonna regret it in 30 years and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, well, y'all know there's an age difference and y'all don't know exactly how this man was in relationships. They're saying that Lori Harvey did date uh, Diddy's son. That's what the blogs say. None of this has been confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that what we Just do. like they're saying Wait, that. But listen, she proposed. Okay, if that's you the can case, search no, Michael B. Joe Jordan's po- uh, proposed to Lori Harvey. You can find an article on that, even though that has not been confirmed. None of that is okay. Confirmed. None of the stuff we've been sitting here saying. Been well, confirmed. that's everything is speculation. <laughs> everything is speculation. But why are people blowing a gasket? I don't no, care. She should not enjoy saying, her Why life, are people blowing saying. a gasket over a twenty-five-year-old woman who has no kids? She no, has a right to do whatever she has she right wants to. to do whatever she wants, right? But then you have people like Nick Cannon and Future out here spreading all these babies. They, they, they should Nick never Cannon, tell yeah, nobody yeah, what Nick to Cannon, do. And you know what? People are saying these dudes are inspiring when when it comes. When people talk about Nick Cannon and how he has three babies, he's about to have like 11 kids. And this man has an illness that he can eventually kill him where he ain't going to be able alive to be able to take care of all of these children. Really? Yeah, he has lupus. And, oh. and, um, and he said he wanted to be fruitful for that reason so he can leave a legacy behind. But he's also but, risking these kids having illness. He already had a child pass away. Oh, yeah. yeah so he's risking these it, children's the, the lives. The no, passed away from yeah, lupus? Remember, no, not lupus. Oh. He had a tumor, I oh. think, in his head. But it, what I mean is he's risking health risks to these children. Mm-hmm. By having them, because he know he's not healthy exactly himself, and people are praising him, talking about his money and how much how he can take care of him. It takes more than money but to take yeah, care. I, I, say money I see a lot of negative things about him having all these kids. I really don't see anything positive. Um, I'm talking about as far as the men, because the men are the ones raging at Lori. A whole bunch of negative stuff about him. Women do, yeah, and then with like right. health risk, any you could pass on a health risk. That may have skipped your generation onto your kids. But too. if you have a known health risk. So just like in our family, how cancer runs and yes. diabetes run, we can pass that along to our kids. And you see, so I don't have a bunch of children. But either. health risk is, that happened. That well, my, happen. hey, as far as I know, which I was found in the basket, <laughs> my family was healthy. All my kids, thank God, is healthy. I'm not saying anyone can, I'm any, crippled, anyone but, can pass along that. But if you have a known illness and you just, if you, you're personally, because our parents aren't sick. Neither one of our parents have an illness. Not like, not, not like that. Not, not, not like uh, that. Hereditary. Not, but a, hereditary, er, not mm-hmm. a hereditary illness. That but you but you may not. Like, just like the Braxtons. Tony Braxton has lupus and none yeah. of her siblings do. And, and her, her sister, kids don't. Uh, and her sister had a completely different cancer. cancer. She had a yeah. cancer. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, yeah. you just... 
everything is a risk. I mean, but if, is but he literally said, I'm speaking specifically to what he said. No, but I'm saying he may not pass along Lucas But he to his knew kid. that he had a serious illness but I'm just saying, that could not be passed a, on. It's speculation. It's not no, 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 no. that he's he going to pass it on to his kid. I'm not talking about speculation. I'm no, talking but, about what he literally said. No, I'm not saying what he literally said. I'm just saying like him passing along Lupus to his kids is no, not No, I get that. That yeah. nothing is guaranteed. Yeah. Nothing in life is guaranteed. Not yeah. even a relationship while y'all yelling at Lori Harvey for why she did. No, I'm talking about you, not you. I'm talking about but like you know society. what? Maybe I'm just jealous of her. Maybe I'm jealous because I didn't. I think wait. a lot of these dudes Maybe matter. I'm jealous of too. I, I think Michael B. Jordan is the man in the I agree that a lot of the men that are complaining about her calling her for the streets, they want Michael B. Jordan for themselves because how, he's 35 years old. Y'all weren't yelling at him while he was playing with all of the girls. He was playing with a 25, telling him he needs to settle down and get married. Why y'all gonna tell her that? She ain't got no kids, just like he ain't got no kids. Let these people live their lives. None of us know anything about what goes on behind closed doors. Be honest, you, we know they're not making babies. You, to be honest, you can't please anybody. Everything is an issue. Every little that's thing, true. especially in the so black community. Yeah, everything, 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 everything is yourself and God. Yeah, yeah, that's everything true. in the black community. Because when Michael B. Jordan was dating outside his race, that was the issue. He started dating Lori Harvey. Okay, they break up, that's the issue. Lori Harvey dated all these people. Future dated all these people. Russell Wilson is a simp, all this and that. Yeah. Like, you can't please anybody. So just everything, live your life. Especially in the black community. Yes. We're going to find an issue, an issue with something. No, no matter what. That we is true. analyze every little thing and it's so... Freaking annoying. That is, is true, but I'm only just saying my opinion. Because you and know what else they're saying. To be honest, I don't care what nobody thinks yeah. about me. I don't you try shouldn't. to please nobody you but shouldn't. God. Nobody should, and including Lori Harvey. And she seems That's to not true. be. She should seems to not be bothered by all of the speculation about her. Thing. She keep doing her thing. But just like with Michael, like you said about him liking the white girls, and everybody had a problem with it. Now these same dudes that are mad at Lori Harvey, like when she get when he get back with a white woman, I'm like Michael Boy B. Jordan deserved to find the love wherever he find the love. If he find love Look with a here, white Michael, woman, I'm available to find. <laughs> he is fine. He's he nice is looking. nice looking. He is I do think, nice but I don't know the type of man that he is in a relationship. I'm sure he is very that nice he's looking. not that bad. Because I don't know. You most gentlemen. He don't seem like he's that he bad. He does seem I'm like a nice guy. I'm as him as a person. And then if his mother raised him with respect, he's not doing too no, much. No, he seems like a very nice guy. I'm not saying that at all. Okay. But just because a person is good doesn't mean they're good for you. We can both be good people and just not be compatible. I know that. But I, but I, I think Michael but B. Hey, is fine. You know how they but say if he finds love with anybody, I don't life, care. People in your life, sometimes for a season, sometimes sometime for, for years. A, yes. My baby will take you for a season or years. And I love, only for Michael. yeah, only for Michael. What's his name? B. B. Jordan. Jordan. Just him, no, just him. Nobody else. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be in my inboxes. I'm talking to Michael specifically. I'm trying to get to be a mother-in-law of mm. Michael B. Jordan. My sister's single. Single Michael B. Jordan. Go ahead, get it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't have anything. Uh, I think that else. was our last story. No, really, yeah, really. I'm just saying, let but these people live. I don't think needs she needs to go to ahead attacked. and enjoy her life. Everybody going to be attacked. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, enjoy she your life. be attacked. But for, it's unnecessary. It's she unnecessary. It's stupid. But that's that's how ignorant people do. They mm-hmm. attack everybody you know for what? any little reason. Another thing reason. I will but say the, about ignorant people. They mad at Russell Wilson for being yes. a gentleman. Yes. yes. You can't win. Yes. yes. It's, it's true. Can't win. It's but true. What I no, will, you know what? They're mad at him for getting with Sierra because she had a kid. You know what? These dudes... Men in the black community hate children. They but hate not women only with that, children. They call him a they they, talk they call about, him a sin for him, loving his but wife. But they call him a cornball. And a but if I'd he, rather have a cornball than one of these a rep, yeah. whatever so these. So it's words. literally like you can't please people. I wouldn't even try to please. That's people. why they, they ain't trying to. No they happy. What. Them four is happy. The two babies. One of these days we'll have to husband. talk about the the how they they just hate women with children. Talking about some their leftovers and how I'm not raising another man's kid. And I just think it's weird. How do you? Expect to help the community if you hate the children. But you know what? It doesn't sad. make any 
sense. Thing, we will do a whole show about that. We need because to. Because most of these men saying that then left some child alone uh, and then with their mom. And took care of other and children. That, yes, that's yes, that's, that's It happens a lot. We've seen it our whole lives. Men leaving their biological children to go be with a woman who had other children and, and be more for them than they are their own like biological Steve children. Like Steve Harvey. Because Lori so Harvey is not kids. Steve Yes, Harvey. he has biological, she's but not she's not his biological, his biological child. She came in, I think he, like, Mary, uh, was she like 12 or 13. Yeah, like, she was very young, but, and, like, he raised her ever since he's been with her mom. But, damn, but she only 12 or 13. Yeah, I know. You practically raised, raised. Yeah. I often say, 12 or 13, you practically but raised already. But he has, kids. He has, but he has biological, biological children. But you never hear about those kids. You only well, hear about sad. Lori Harvey. That's sad. That's but that's another reason kids. why they don't like Steve Harvey. They call men like him simps for being But that's why we should have something to do with his But he had children, too. That's what I'm saying. It's wrong for him to take care of somebody else's kids and don't take care and of I your own. And I could be wrong. Maybe his kids don't want to be in the spotlight. Yeah. I don't know. But I, I just know. find it a little weird. I just think that's wrong. I've never if you seen got kids, other kids, it's okay to take care of somebody else's kids, but take care of your goddamn kids too. And don't take it out on the children. Like, that's weird. That is weird. That's probably and you why don't have to I date somebody really, that has children. You know, why are you I mean, having to attack them? That's probably understand. why I didn't really... I had quite a few kids to keep me busy. It wasn't no time. Yeah, you, you, but you were a very good mother. But I think that, like with Sierra, Sierra is a good mother. Her and Russell have been together for a and long he time. He loves that they boy have, like it's his. And, he, and they hate that about him. Well, it's so that's weird. Like, hey, that you, means he's doing something right. You just, right. You just like, why would win. you hate you a child being people. loved? Why would you hate a child being loved? Because people are ignorant. They probably wasn't loved. I have never kid. not liked a kid because they weren't biologically mine. Never in my life. I've raised kids like my whole life ever since i was a kid i babysit everybody's kids i love children i don't give a damn who your bloodline is but you know is. what that's why a lot of men that act like that don't have no choices in women yeah and then they mad why they and sitting they, lonely and projecting yeah they women. sitting up there hating on everybody because they ain't got no one yeah. So that kind of stuff really doesn't bother it makes, me. It, but it makes no sense. It's like, why are you doing that? I don't like, try to make miserable. sense of the world today. Because the, the Bible says ignorant. you can't. It's, I'm saying you can't win. Bible really says. Yeah. What's, the, uh, what's the Michael Jackson song? Where you can't win, child. On the yes. way. <laughs> Let me tell y'all a verse in the Bible. The Bible says, now I'm not saying exactly how it said it. Because <laughs> it's written in Hebrew and they talk different. But what it meant was... The people of the world today, most of the people in the world are evil and conniving. The whole thin line to heaven and, thing? Yeah, no, the people that's telling the truth and being honest, they don't believe nothing not you popular. say, but you're telling the truth. People look crazy. You look crazy. You look like the crazy one yeah. when it's everybody else. So, so therefore, thank you no, for calling me crazy. Man. Look, thank you for thinking I'm nuts. <laughs> Well, my and my take on everything is just you can't please anybody, so just do you, and who cares yeah, what everybody always. thinks? I agree with that. I, I totally agree with that, with that one. too. Just simplify it as much as I talk. Especially in our community. Yeah, especially in our community, because there, there's always going to be a problem. If you always. marry, you, you're a problem. Look at Sierra and Russell. If you if you single, look at Lori <laughs> Harvey. Harvey is a problem, and don't have kids. It, it's just always a problem, so just do what makes you happy, period. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything else, ladies. No, no, that's it's good. We're good. See you next show.